What is up guys? Uh, it's another day right now and uh, it's a little bit early today actually. Like I said last night I finished uh, painting this whole side of the car. Um, I think it's good enough. Hopefully it is. I think it looks good. Uh, there's some spots where the light hits differently where I see a little bit of stripes. I'm not really. I don't know if it's just me overreacting with it but uh, well, as you can see my cat on here as you can see my cat was walking up all over my car apparently um i'm gonna wet tan in a bit i'm gonna give it like a, maybe like another hour to dry i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping this uh front bumper i'm gonna go pick up paint because uh, i just gotta call it they already have it and um uh, i'll finish up with this side so i'm gonna pick up five more cans that those five cans maybe two or three will take up this uh <clears throat> the rear bumper Two or three might take up the front, depending if it comes out good or not. Uh, same thing with the trunk, it's gonna be like another three or four, so uh, I'm gonna need more cans for that in the future. Another two or three for the pillars and this. I'm also trying to find out how to uh, remove uh, the trunk. That little noise right now you heard is because my bolts are not connected up. Uh, got a mess in the car, got all this stuff in there. But uh, I'm trying to figure out how to take off the trunk how to take off this I don't know how I've never taken it off so I can't say much about it Let's see I don't know I'll figure it out in a bit uh, figure out how to take these off because I'll make these like a different color as well too uh, or I might just repaint them black again make them look nice because they're pretty scratched up and ugly so I'm gonna do all that in a bit uh, selling these side skirts someone might pick them up later on today but yeah I got the book here I'm gonna tape it up and start prepping it um, like I said with the hood, I'm going to carbon fiber wrap it, carbon fiber wrap it, but before I'm going to bond up this little piece right here so this dent won't be there. And uh, this whole side's already basically done, everything's mounted up, fender's on good, <coughs> mirrors are on good, whatever. Yeah, this whole side's completely done. Just got to do the trunk and obviously the top piece of the car. A lot of people are saying to leave it, um, they're telling me to leave it two-tone, the silver top, but I'm not liking it too much, honestly. And uh, you know, I'm trying to make the whole car one color. I'm still gonna do the little uh, flowery thingies, whatever, but just in green instead of gray. So, yeah, I also got my trunk done. Not my trunk, my uh, gas lid or whatever that shit is. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start prepping the front bumper right now, and then I'll probably start painting it in a bit, and then go pick up the paint while that's drying. I'm uploading two videos right now that I've been needing to upload for a while. It's just my internet's been getting in the way a lot, so. Yeah, all that's gonna be up in a bit. This whole side's ready to get wet sanded. But I guess I'm gonna wait a little bit more. Like hairs right here, all these little imperfections and stuff, but whatever, that's fine. That goes away. Um, yeah, hopefully it all comes out pretty good. I'm excited for this. I was still debating if I wanna paint um, my door handles black, but I'm gonna just leave them on uh, silver. They look pretty good like that. Yeah, as you can see right here, what I'm saying, it seems like there's not enough like paint around here, but uh, maybe with the wet sand, it'll come out a little better, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Still letting the door dry. Uh, gonna go ahead and start with this bumper and get this painted up. Let it dry up, get the lip painted, let that dry up, and we'll start with everything else. Okay, so uh, I got the front painted, front lip painted. Uh, still haven't wet had anything. Uh, I want to go pick up more paint. They only had four. I ordered uh, five of them, so I'm just missing one. Uh, well, actually, I didn't even check the same color. You see, this is the wrong one. This is Pacific Green. Uh, this is good. This one's good. And this one's good. They gave me a wrong one. 
They gave me Pacific Green when I need Amazon Green. Ain't that some shit. So, bumper is already painted. Uh, I gotta clear coat it, and finish it, wet sand it. We'll be good with that. The last thing, uh, what sucks? Oh, pause the music. Uh, one of the paints, they all say Ford because that's a, it's an original Ford color, but they sent me one wrong paint that was like a blue. It was kind of like a darker bluish green, so I did that as a base coat first, and then I used uh, the actual color to cover it all. And then, so now it's all the green that I'm supposed to, you know, supposed to be. Um, I'm just gonna click out that right now. This I'm gonna wet sand a little bit later. I want to done with that. Got the front bumper painted and the loop painted, and then uh, gotta wet sand that too later. So yeah. All right, so just kind of started painting uh, the little inside of the inside of the hatch. Let me see if I can get a better color or a better look of it. But it's like a charcoal gray metallic. Has like a little bit of a light brown flake in it. Looks really nice. Uh, I uploaded one video before the one that just uploaded, I guess, or the recent video. Um, the one that just uploaded actually was not supposed to be that was not supposed to be the video that's going to be next. Uh, there was one before that one, but I don't know what happened. I think uploading it or when I was editing it, the file was corrupted, so I can't upload that video no more because half of the files are missing. So, I just went ahead and uploaded that one just so I can give you guys a video, but um, I'm just gonna say, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I did before that, but uh, I mean, since the videos are, you know, deleted, you know, I can't do anything about it, but I got some new stuff for the car. Uh, I'm painting the trunk right now. I finished painting everything else. Uh, still got a wet sand, the rear bumper, and, um, I did the pillars, but I messed up, so I'm going to need to redo the pillars again and we'll send those. I already ordered carbon fiber wrap for the roof, or for the trunk actually. I mean for the hood, sorry. I'm excited for painting this. And uh, I got some new wheels again. I got some SSR Angle, or Agle, or Agile, or Struces, whatever you guys want to call those, I don't know. Uh, they were Ivan's old wheels, and I took them off his hands. Or his brother's hands, since his brother bought the GS. Uh, the car is almost done, actually. I also picked up some just bears. Got some battles. But yeah, the car's almost done. Front's is already done. Uh, fenders are done. That whole side's already wet sanded. This is wet sanded, buffed out, everything. Gotta redo this because I messed up right here. So I'm gonna redo this. Just painted this little piece right now earlier. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna be painting the trunk right now. And then I need to get tires for these wheels. I'm, uh, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna take them off and polish up the lips again because they're a little dirty. I need a little love. I'm thinking of painting the face is probably gray, but um, I'm kind of liking the color right now with the red center caps. But I'm gonna get the real red center caps. I just wrapped it red, and uh, I think they look way better because they used to be just uh, gray too, and I didn't like them too much. So I wrapped it red instead, and they look way better. But I'm gonna get the real red center caps for these. I'm gonna polish up the lips, get new tires, tires for the little spares, tires for my other spares, tires for the other spares. And then I'm going to look up for another more spares too for those because uh, I'm going to Grange on February 15th. I'm going to be doing a drift event there with a couple friends. Well, actually, it might just be me and Ivan, but some friends that I met online and uh, they're throwing an event. So it's going to be kind of cool. The car's going to be there. I'll finish up. I'll be drifting that. Uh, I'm actually uh, talking with Power, uh, Part Shop by Max PBM. I'm, I'm supposed to get the angle kit or I was going to get it uh, two days ago but they're out of stock so I have to wait five weeks in order for them to get new ones again and then I can purchase it. So uh, I'm just gonna set an order and then whenever they come in, I'll pick them up. So I'm gonna get it real soon. And then all oh, this is gonna be finished. I did a low mount wing so I don't have the stands no more. I just low mounted it to the car and it looks pretty nice. I did uh, my custom end plates and I carbon fiber wrapped it. And it looks pretty good. So yeah, there's a, there's a couple new updates on the car and all that's going on and I'm really excited for this. It's already actually prepped. I'm gonna start painting it in a little bit and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it comes out good and yeah. Okay, so I clear coated my roof so I can wet sand and make that look shiny because I'm gonna keep the roof looking like that. I uh, painted the trunk. It actually looks a lot better in the light right now but it's all dried up completely. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe in the next like day or two I'm gonna wet sand this. Um, Still got a wet in the rear bumper, and then basically the whole car is going to be done. I'm just going to buy carbon fiber wrap, 
and wrap the whole hood with that and we should be good. All right, so I'm painting my battles white. I'm not really a big fan of the gray. It looks good, don't get me wrong, it's just, it doesn't fit the color that good. Um, yeah, I took off all the old plastic dip. I was trying to polish these wheels, but that didn't work out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these white and make them look nice. Polish those later on. Ivan has a tool for that, or he has a little buffing thing, but we'll do that in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start giving it the first coat. Let it stick a little bit, dry up. As you can see, I uh, covered up the inside of the wheel, so that way I won't get any overspray in there and look ugly. And I got a bunch of uh, like cards and shit to cover up that tire to cover up the tire so it won't look so ugly after I'm done painting it. And I'll show you guys the results right now when I'm done with this. And I taped up also the uh, valve cap stuff, so that won't look ugly either. I'm gonna do little small coats so the paint can dry up or so it can like stick to it first. Little by little, I'm gonna start giving you with thicker coats, and then we'll finish it up. Yeah, I like the gray, but it just doesn't fit the car that much, but whatever, it's cool. This is the end product. I'm just kidding, this is the first coat. I guess it already looks kind of white, but it's the first coat. I'm gonna let that dry up. I gave it very light coats. You can see there's a bunch of like uh, spots that are missing. That's just so it can stick really good. And then after that dries up a little bit, I'll go ahead and hit it with, the, with another coat. And maybe later on, I'll just peel this off because that looks kind of ugly. It's just hard to really, hard to peel off in there. Yeah. So this is the last coat of the white. I gave it about four coats, I think. Really deep coats. Uh, the second coat was still pretty light, just to help it stick still. The third and fourth were super thick, getting everything all one color and just finishing it all off. And uh, yeah, so that came out really good. I'm gonna clear cut it right now. And maybe when I unmask the back of it, if I don't like the way it looks, uh, like gray or black in the back. I might just paint that white too, but most likely I might just paint it black if anything. But I'm gonna leave it right now to see how it looks first and then we'll finish the rest of it. I'm gonna clear cut it right now and I'll take off the little cards and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, so this is the, I guess like a finished product of the wheel. This is already uh, clear coated, what well, it's been painting clear coated. Uh, like I said, I taped up the back so it can look really nice inside. Um, Put the cap back on, took off all everything else. So this wheel's already done. Everything's all colored, really good. This is already done too. Uh, that one, same thing, this side's black as well. Uh, something right now that just happened. Uh, well, first of all, I don't know what all this is. I don't know if you guys can see all that. But this doesn't really come off. I don't know what's been going on. I think this is this happened because uh, it rained a couple days ago. I don't know if that's from it just sitting outside and all that, and that's probably what ruined it. And then when I was painting the trunk, uh, the car was inside, so maybe the overspray uh, kind of got everything stuck. But what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to go ahead and wet sand the whole car again. Probably everything, just to make sure there's no uh, overspray. Or first, I'm just going to go and buff it. But if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go and uh, wet sand the whole car and rebuff everything. Uh, something right here, too. I hit it a little too hard with the machine. And I don't know. It burned the paint a little bit, and I don't know what all these lines are. It's they're removable. I don't know what it really is, but it's really getting me mad because it was such a hard, such like hard work to get it like this, and it just messes up like that. So that kind of sucks. And again, I got no wheels. Uh, these are SSR Eagle Struces or Struce. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, they're 18 by 10 plus 13s, running a two inch space on the back but when I go drifting obviously that's gonna be off but that's just uh, just to get the wheel fitted in the future I'm gonna step lip these to 19s probably or just get a bigger lip uh, same thing with the front ones I have all four just that the front one has a flat tire so I picked up some spares which are these battles and original colors like a silver like a dark gray something like that I don't know but I wasn't a big fan of it because the guy plasti dipped it a bronze color and it just it was a little too dark for the car so I think these white ones just kind of give it a little more definition, so I painted them white to make them look a little better. And those are my drift spares, I have my other drift spares somewhere right there, I'm not sure if you guys can see. But I'm going to paint those white as well, and I'll be running those in the front. 
in the future. I have the other wheels right there. But um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Whatever happened there, but that'll get fixed maybe later on. I'm still debating if I want to get a real carbon fiber hood, wrap it carbon fiber, or paint it. I'm debating on the paint because it's a, it's a little bit hard to paint such a big panel. Uh, I can probably do it, but it's gonna take some time. And then um, getting a real carbon fiber hood would look really nice as well. Carbon fiber wrap looks nice, but I'm just not sure how it's gonna blend in with the whole car either. So kind of hard. But yeah, this is done. Next, uh, I gotta fix my Wi-Fi because I broke it going to Tuner Evo yesterday. So broke that. Gotta get the car basically prepped up, get tires, uh, just make sure everything's running right because I might need a clutch when I was going to Tuner Evo. Uh, the clutch was getting really hard. Not hard, but the clutch was all the way to the floor and uh, it was really difficult to put into gear so I might need a clutch in the future. But after uh, Turner Evo, when I was coming back home, it felt fine. Everything was going to gear fine. I drove it from Anaheim to Riverside back without a single problem. So it was kind of weird, but I might just uh, go and do that and not risk it and just get a new clutch and probably slap that in before the drift event on February. Hopefully that happens. But I did order the angle kit, so I'm just waiting for that to come in. I might go pick it up. It's a five week wait, so that kind of sucks, but um, yeah, got the angle kit for this. Gonna get an alignment after that, and basically the car's gonna be done. I just gotta paint the front bumper right back here, somewhere back there, but I gotta fix that and paint it. Gotta paint that. Um, gotta repaint these the pillars because I messed up. So if you can see right there, uh, like it just looks kind of weird. But yeah, gotta fix that. Still gotta wet sand the trunk. The trunk is not wet sanded yet. It's just that's just after the clear. Wet sand the rear bumper. Put my wing back on, and it'll be good. Just tires. And that's it. So yeah. And before that too, uh, before the event, I gotta get all studs for the wheels. I mean, I gotta get the studs for the actual car and studs for the spacers because um, some of them are getting stripped and I'm not trying to run, uh, well, I'm getting new lug nuts. My girlfriend bought me some new uh, likewise lug nuts and I don't want to run them with messed up studs and then mess up the lug nuts. It's gonna be kind of a waste. So I'm gonna get everything brand new too as well so I can just be extra safe and feel comfortable about running those lug nuts and not having a problem. So I gotta do all that too. So that's all gonna be in the future. Might get those maybe tomorrow, not sure. Let me see how that goes first. And uh, yeah, cool.